Hello Libra, welcome to Truth Well Told Tarot. This is Andrea and I'm here to do your weekly tarot reading for the sign of Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus. And it will be from the 31st of May to the 6th of June 2021. I hope you are Libra. So I'm going to pull you an oracle card. This is Whispers of Lord Ganesha. Not use this for a while. Uh, Lord Ganesha is um, apparently good for helping us overcome obstacles. So what do we have for Libra, please? Angels, spirits, guides, message for our lovely Librans. Thank you. Number 38, we have nurture. Maybe taking care of you, your health, uh, growth, healing, you know, that kind of energy. Very nice. Okay. What do we have for Libra, please? Angels, spirits, guides, message for Libra, overarching energy for the week. Thank you. Okay, so we have one card turned over, the four of wands. Okay, Libra, so I'm going to pull three cards and then we'll clarify, go deeper into the message as we always do. And it won't resonate with everybody. So just take what resonates with you as always. Okay. Message for Libra, please. <coughs> Message for Libra, please. 31st of May to the 6th of June, 2021. There you are in your challenge position, however. Ten of Cups is Advice from Spirit. And we have the Chariot in your near future. Okay, can we clarify and go deeper into the message, please, for Libra? 31st of May to the 6th of June, 2021, please. Angels, Spirits, Guides. So I'm using the uh, Tarot Grand Lux. Uh, this is the Tarot of Dreams and I'm clarifying with the Legacy of the Divine Tarot. All by Marchetti. Okay. Message for Libra, please. Angels, Spirits, Guides. Message for our lovely Librans for the week. Thank you. We have Nine of Swords. What's going on there, Libra? King of Coins, very nice energy with the Ten of Cups. And the Chariot, we have in the immediate future, the Two of Coins. Bottom of the deck, the World. Wow. So what has been stressing you out? Let's clarify um, this Nine of Swords. What has been stressing you out, Libra? Causing you stress, anxiety, worry, overthinking. What has caused you imbalance? What do we have for Libra, please? Seven of Swords. And the Judgment card. You know, Libra, there's levels to these cards here. So again, take what resonates with you. Your overarching energy for what it's worth is that harmony is restored. This is it with you, your relationship, your family, your home. This is the happy home energy, a reason to celebrate the four corners of stability and security. So whatever is going on here in this reading, no. And again, I'm getting that with this King of Coins energy. Stability is going to be restored. Now, this is you in your challenge position. So you are absolutely challenged. Justice is all about uh, balance and definitely in the challenge position. This can be about something that has caused you maybe imbalance. Uh, it can be linked with some kind of, uh, I'm feeling some kind of dishonesty on some level here, Libra. Now, remember, there's levels to this. 
It can be everything from some kind of lie to someone's actions. But it feels it's not extreme enough that you can't overcome it. So something's been going on here where someone has kept something from you for whatever reason, you know, kept something from you or lied to you in some way and caused you a lot of stress, anxiety, worry. You know, the, the Seven of Swords can be lies, deception. I mean, there's levels to this card. Um, but if someone, I'm feeling in this situation, someone hasn't been completely honest. And it's definitely caused some stress. And I'm feeling this has been in your relationship. It can be in your family. So this could be to do with children, uh, you know, uh, extended family. Um, this can also be to do with within your relationship. So again, just take what resonates with you, really. I'm feeling dishonesty here quite strongly. Some level of dishonesty. But if truth comes out, you know, justice is all about truth and the judgment. It might well be that you've discovered some dishonesty here and it's caused a lot of stress, anxiety, worry. Um, the judgment card is, it can be a card of making some kind of judgment call. But, you know, it's also a card of absolution. Can I forgive this person? Can we embrace a rebirth? And there, generally, when the judgment card appears, I mean, it's karmic energy. You know, it's almost kind of like the universe is saying, see, I told you not to behave like this because the truth always comes out. You know, it feels this kind of energy. Um, and it, it feels that you're dealing with something here. Uh, I'm, I'm getting in this energy. I'm feeling somebody's wanting some kind of forgiveness in some level. The beautiful thing from Spirit, Libra, is that the stability is going to be restored. But this is all about the detail. This is all about knowing the detail. This is all about complete honesty. Everything um, being put on the table here. There's definitely an energy of stability, security, success is restored. Trust is restored as well. It feels in the family, in the home. I mean, it could be with a Taurus as well for some of you. Um, male or female energy. Uh, this can be a person. But there is definitely an energy of someone's been dishonest. A truth has come to light here that they've been dishonest. Someone's asking for some level of forgiveness here. I'm getting in this energy that you are, you are grappling with this situation, but you're going to overcome this, this, snag in the road you know it, it, this kind of roadblock it feels like you're going to charge straight through it um, and to overcome it and bring balance back into your life because we have the ten of cups which is the rainbow of blessings the happy ever after bliss harmony happiness contentment restored so there's definitely this energy of what has caused you some imbalance maybe throwing you off guard in some way because i'm definitely seeing that with the two of coins can I or can't I forgive them? You know, will I, how do I move forward in this situation? How do I deal with this? How do I get balance into my life? You know, again, that's what you're grappling with here because the information has come to light and you're thinking, okay, how do I deal with this? But the charioteer is saying you will step through it. You will overcome it. Um, Sometimes that charity is about leaving something behind, but I, I feel that you're leaving whatever this period of disappointment, deception, dishonesty has been in your life. It, it just feels like it's, it's caused you a lot of upset. And um, there's definitely an energy here with the chariot of you will overcome this. Um, this is somebody who is taking the reins of a situation. They're in the driving seat. They're deciding what direction they want to go, having done some toing and froing, right? And um, and they're on it. You know, they overcome the wave. They overcome the obstacle. They overcome the challenge that they faced um, to victory, to success, winning through. 
So the, and restoring balance, you know, the, the, the two horses are pulled into alignment. They're pulled into balance with the chariot. So you are literally grabbing hold of something which felt absolutely out of balance that you were juggling, you know, and trying to do other things as well, like cycling. A, is that a unicycle or a... <laughs> And you're, you're pulling this into balance here, you know, uh, by your own will, determination, perseverance. It feels like you're getting clarity in the direction that you're going here. And with this world card, it just feels like drawing a line under it. You know, now this can be a major completion. Um, stepping through to a new phase of your life. But this is also a card of accomplishment, completion. Something's finished here, you know something's finished in this situation let's just draw a line under it and step through to a new cycle and that's what i feel you're saying but i'm feeling somebody wants your forgiveness absolution um they want some kind of rebirth with you uh and it definitely feels like i said for some of you it could be uh, a child it could be family extended family it can also be in terms of um, a relationship here Libra but the beautiful thing is your overarching energy is the stability is restored and it's restored by your actions and how you're dealing with something because there's definitely an energy of somebody being very kind generous of spirit here with the 38 um, nurture card um, yeah I just and this is what I'm saying it could be a child um but it feels, it absolutely feels that you just want to embrace, make peace and move on. That's what I have for you. So let's pull you a final card. Yeah, I love this Libra. We've got the light. The fairy queen of light comes to shed love and light onto the situation and to remind you that light can penetrate the darkness. It's a lovely energy here, Libra. It just feels like, yeah, I'm ready. I'm drawing a line under it. I'm just, let's just step through new cycle and all that. You know, let's just, let's just move on. And it, it, it feels, it feels that you're just taking control of it this week, uh, ready to take control. And the message is certainly in the near future, it feels like you're drawing a line under it and nurturing what matters to you, what brings stability and security and harmony back into your life. It's a lovely energy. So I hope you enjoyed the reading. If you did, please do like, share and subscribe. I hope it's a wonderful week for you and I'll see you next time. Thank you.